Okay, so I decided to do my project on the effect of social media um, on our mental health. Okay, I'm going to start with a question. How much time would you guess the average teen spends on social media every day? Like two, three hours. Six hours. Six. 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 Seven. Five. Five. What? What are you? You did? Two. 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 Four. Four. Okay. So in 2017, average teens spent an hour and minutes on social media, and now teens are spending seven hours and 22 minutes on average every day. Um, this is almost a 400% increase in just five years, which is why I kind of wanted to like dive into it because it's affecting everyone. So I also did the math and it's like 76% each year going up. So yeah, we're spending way too much time. Um, why are people addicted to it? Um, it releases dopamine in our brains. This is a feel-good chemical in our brains. It's the same chemical that goes off in our brains when we're when people are drinking alcohol and using drugs. Um, it makes us feel good. Um, it's consistent. Um, it's always there for people. They can pull out their phone, there's always something to scroll at. Endless content, there's billions of people on the planet and they're all posting something. There's plenty of things you can look at. You can spend countless hours watching YouTube videos, looking at people's posts. TikTok is my personal place that I spend the most time. Um, positive effects. Um, why do people use it? To create relationships, whether that's online, people that they've never actually met in person, or with people that they've met in person that live a long distance away. It's easy to communicate with those who um, we can't get in touch with like in person. Um, people are gaining support from those online that they're like, telling people things that they wouldn't want to tell someone that they interact with daily because it's personal and um, They'd rather like keep it to someone that's not going to tell everyone about it. Um, but it's consistent for everyone, and they like to have something that they can always rely on when maybe some other people they can't rely on in their lives. Um, negative, it's causing depression. People are comparing their lives to other people's lives. We're always posting just the very perfect moments of our lives, the very best moments of our lives, and we're never showing it down. And so we all expect to have perfect lives. And people are seeing posts of everyone's lives and they're wondering why there isn't why their lives aren't like everyone else's. Um, it's causing anxiety. People are having fear of missing out. Um, they're worried again that they're not matching up to everyone else. Um, it's causing eating disorders. We're looking at other people's bodies and wondering why ours doesn't look like our friends and we stop eating to start looking like people that we want to look like, which is sad. Um, a solution. Um, my favorite is limit your time scrolling. You don't have to limit it by like an hour. If you just start with a few minutes each day, it doesn't have to be a big difference. But if you start little, um, the difference will come over time. And I promise you will see a difference in your life and the way you feel if you spend less time comparing yourself to others because really that's what we do when we're looking at social media. Um, focus on real life friends. The connections that you have with your friends around you and in person are way more rewarding than the connections you have with someone online. I feel like we kind of learned that with COVID. Once COVID ended, we all wanted to be back together because we need that in-person connection. Um, and live in the moment. Don't let anything pass you by um, because you're staring at your phone. Like connect with the people around you and make sure that you're like, making sure that the people around you know that you care about them and that you want to hear what they have to say. And um, so yeah. Any questions? <coughs> Do you know what has like the highest average like user time? Um, I think it's like 14 hours, like on the high end, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, there's 24 hours in a day, so. Do you think it will like keep rising? If like I do because like I do because the like. Um, companies like Snapchat and TikTok, they're focused on keeping you locked in as long as possible. They're not worried about your mental health. They're making money off of you. And so they're trying to do anything they can to keep you engaged. And so 
it comes at our cost, not theirs, yeah. and they're making more money. So they're going to continue to do things that will keep us locked in. Do you know uh, what the nutrient cheese is? Um, it was 14 to 16.